I started playing golf when I was 12, so uh, sport was always a big part of my life and love sport. Went to um, uh, Arizona to work on my golf game, ended up in the graduate program there, and we had a professor come that actually combined um, psychophysiology with sport, which I thought was a very interesting combination because now we can finally look at what's going on in the brain, the physiological representation of a psychological state. A lot of the golfers had uh, problems, not specifically I would say with attention, but with this uncontrollable spasm or jerk that we call the yips. And so it's an uncontrollable spasm or jerk that um, happens. Uh, it can be, for us in golf, it's more with putting, it can be with chipping, and it can be with full swing. About half of the people know it's coming, I'd say, before they actually get up and do the motion, and the others don't necessarily know that it's, it's going to occur. There's a, a dysfunction in the brain, whether it's um, a, the connection between the sensory input and the motor programming, there's probably a, a dysfunction in the organization. Uh, before the motor program begins to create the motion. And so in terms of helping them, probably the first thing that has to happen is a change of position. And really it's a matter of the player finding a, a way to put their hands on to take out the, um, the hand that's causing the problem. The brain will remember where to come back to in order to create the motion at impact and, and it, it'll fine tune it very well. I think we can more finely tune our interventions to the individuals once we continue to do the research. If we can keep their brain engaged in the activity by one of these changes, then uh, that, that change we make might last for quite a period of time.